Hello there, how are you? Uh, welcome to our first tutorial on C. And um, in this particular tutorial, we would want to introduce uh, basic concepts of C. Um, that is C as a programming language. And uh, also, we are going to try and um, have an introduction to code blocks, which is the IDE that we're going to be using for, for our tutorials. And um, today we just want to at least appreciate the structure of a C program and how to find, get ourselves around using code blocks. And the code blocks version that we're going to be using is um, code blocks 16.01. Uh, which is apparently open source and it is um, a version that you can easily download and install and the installation is not even difficult it is just um, a simple click and follow I'm sure we should be able to find ourselves around that one now in this particular um, introduction I'm just using notepad uh, which apparently should be um, a basic uh, text editor that everyone has on their machine and I just want to show how and what you have to include for you to write a basic, basic program. Like in any other programming language, you would find out that your first program is normally uh, of printing out on the screen. And largely what you print out is just a phrase, uh, hello world. It is normally known as the hello world um, program. And uh, in this case, we have uh, in our notepad, um, this program which is starting by showing uh, comments uh, we have uh, comments and comments by definition these are statements that are not going to be compiled uh, these are statements that can be in any language statements that you'd want to use to uh, document your program you'd want to use those statements to try and um, label the program to say these are the steps this is what you're doing um, in this case I'm even uh, saying what this program is all about and I start by uh, these two which are two forward slashes and two follow forward slashes are used when you are um, writing a single line comment that is a comment that is just going to be occupying one line and in this case our um, comment is saying this is an introduction to C um, using uh, code blocks probably I just want I just need to, to, to add that we are using uh, code blocks that is the IDE that we're going to be using um, and also we have um, a four slash followed by an asterisk uh, which is denotes the use of a multi-line comment and this is a comment that is going to be um, going for more than one line probably we would say um, this is a comment that we would need to open and also have um, an iced again apparently um, a forward slash closing that uh, so we have this and we also then have the corresponding um, closure of that particular comment this is where the comment is starting and this is where the comment is ending and in this comment I'm saying this was done by DM for FIT students at NAST um, this is not something that you should take to heart I know this particular tutorial can be used by anyone from anywhere uh, who would want to be introduced to C so um, you can actually use that from from anywhere um, regardless of whether you are an FIT student or not so that being said, um, it's always, always prudent and it's always advised that when you're writing a program in any programming language for that matter, you have comments in that particular program for uh, yourself, for also others who might use that particular code and, and all. Comments are um, a portion of, of, of your code that uh, the uh, preprocessor will actually remove. So they, they will be removed and they won't uh, be compiled. Uh, we then follow that uh, when you are starting a C program we always have what are known as preprocessor directives um, and we denote that or we show that by having this sign which is the pound sign um, which is the pound sign and others may have that as the hash 
uh, hash sign and when we are using that hash in this case we are saying hash include stdio uh, dot h we are going to really get to ourselves to explain what that means and all but for now uh, you might just want to know that this stands for standard uh, so a standard input output header file a header file is apparently uh, where we have definition of keywords, definition of um, um, defined functions and functions that we may use in our code, they are defined apparently in a header file. In a header file would be acting like it's uh, a dictionary as we know from the languages or from what we use every day, where you want to know the meaning of a particular function, you want to know the meaning of a particular keyword, you then check in the dictionary. So a header file is is almost like that or is synonymous to that, whereas your compiler is actually making sense of your of your of your program. It to then go and check uh, inside the header file whether you have such words defined in the header file so it would know the meaning of that by by referring to the header file so in this case the compiler is being told to include stdio.h which is the header file which is the standard input output header file it is also being um, told or requested to include another header file which is the console um, input output uh, header file as well and uh, we would see how that is used as we go so that being said we always have uh, a function that is known as a main function in our C and this is a very very important function and as probably the name insinuates it's actually a main main function it is a function that we always need a function that we always uh, should have uh, for us to run to run a, a program um, in in, in C, let me just expand that. So you then see that we have in the in this case we have um, um, int main. Um, main has different ways in which sometimes it's expressed from different books. Uh, where I'm sure you get other authorities, we have the use of void there, and uh, they even specify that it also is void in there. Um, this would be saying your main is not going to be returning a value. I'm going to explain that further when we talk about functions. So in our case, I'm saying instead of using voids, we can use int. And by int, we are saying the return type or the data that is going to be returned by main is actually of an integer type. So we are saying the return type for this particular main is int, which is integer. So it's going to be returning an integer. And uh, this void for others, it is to specify that we do not have uh, any any parameters in that particular main. Uh, we can either specify it by that void or we can just leave it as void. We can leave it with um, nothing. That being said as well, we then uh, go to this other portion where every time that we have a function it should have two uh, uh, parentheses what we sometimes call brackets in English or uh, we after having that we also then have uh, curly braces we make use of curly braces and uh, curly braces we open as we open we are opening actually to uh, show the beginning or to show the start of the body of that particular function and uh, there should be a corresponding uh, closure to that or oh, in other words we should be able to have another curly brace that is going to be closing the function or that is going to uh, mark the end of the particular function body so in this case we have two lines inside our function uh, we have one that is saying print f and print f uh, is one function that we're going to be using a lot it's um, a printing function uh, in c and that printing function is actually defined in your stdio.h in your standard input output data file and in this case our printf is supposed to print whatever is inside uh, the, uh, the, the, the the brackets or inside the parentheses and inside the parentheses we actually have uh, uh, a string uh, which in this case we call a string literal that is uh, we are showing that string by these quotes where we have um, opening quotes and we are closing the quotes. So printf in this case is going to print whatever is inside or whatever is written um, in those quotes. And in those quotes we have hello world um, backward slash um, n. We have hello world backward slash n and that this backward slash n is actually uh, saying uh, you are 
about to print an escape sequence. An escape sequence being uh, a special character or something that you're printing, but you're not necessarily going to be printing N in this case. Yeah, what you are actually going to be printing in, in this particular instance is that you're going to be printing a new line or you're going to be carrying uh, the carriage to a new line. And then followed by that, something that we might want to take note of is uh, a semicolon. We use uh, the semicolon a lot in our C, and the semicolon is used uh, to terminate a line. Um, actually, our um, compiler compiles line by line. So every time that it um, um, encounters the semicolon in your code it would know that it's now about to to get into a new line so it terminates and then it it executes a new line so in this case after termination after this particular termination it goes and it says return zero and then it terminates again and then after this termination it would have come to the end so you would find that's how uh, we write uh, the structure of a C program. A C program is supposed to have preprocessor directives, a program is supposed to have uh, comments, a program is also supposed to have the main function, and uh, it's the main function also is then supposed to um, have um, lines of code which then specify what that particular program is exactly doing. Okay. Hello. After showing uh, what, um, how to write a C program in, in Notepad, we then want to jump on to how you then use code blocks and uh, you might want to to see this is already done um, it is that same program that we have in our notepad and we just want to show how the program is going to be running and uh, we've created a project here and in this particular case the project is called hello world and we have that program um, now in an IDE and you might see that uh, even the color codes have changed you now have uh, gray for your comments you have green probably for your preprocessor directives you also then have uh, blue for for for, for keywords etc so you might find out that there is now uh, some color coding you don't necessarily need to know uh, the color codes uh, by the code to commit them to memory you might just want to to see that that's how and that's what changes uh, and we would want to build we would want to build to to check whether we have um, any errors and we are being told that apparently there are no errors in this particular code we then should be able to then run and as we run we then see that we have a console output and that console output is actually um, printing onto the screen hello world of course there are those details as well where we are told the execution time and 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 all that but it's not really important you can then press um um, any key to continue and in this case after pressing to continue you are then brought back to to that uh, particular screen let's just see if we would want to print something else onto this screen let's say we get to print f and we would want to to print um, f um, my first program my first program we want to see how that is going to to come up we want to see how that is going to come up and um, we build once again um, after building we want to see if there are going to be any any errors there are no errors so let's try to run and see so it's now printing hello world and my first program so this should be should show us how we go about it and how we then have to to run our program uh, in 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 core blocks but probably before we get to the conclusion uh, we might just want to show certain things that uh, we also would want to find our way around uh, we press our key we continue how did we even get to come up with them with that particular project how did we come up to create a project uh, we went file and new and then we said new project and normally when we have that project we have uh, an empty project which in this case we're going to say go it is a simple click and follow process which I would want us to be very disciplined when we're when we're doing, so that we then have it really as a click and follow. So we have next, and then we give um, the project a title. The project the project title is just a name that uh, uh, your your project is actually going to be using for referencing. And we have a few rules that we want to make sure that we we follow. We don't want to have space. We don't want um long names we don't want names that we are probably going to be confusing with something else uh, so we can say uh first program first program just to to give it um 
the title and like i was saying you don't necessarily need to leave a space a space will actually get you into problems especially when you want to reference that particular that particular um project you you shouldn't leave spaces when you're naming your identifiers and then we say next uh, after saying next uh, we have a project that already has that particular name so we are just going to be overriding and then you get to this particular window you don't need to change anything there and then you say finish after finishing uh, you'd find it actually then creates a project called first project so this is how you you do it and these are the basic steps of how you do it and basic steps of how you then have your program running in code blocks how you actually um, initiate a project and give a project a name in code blocks thank you very much for your time